This question is a GMAT 650 level medium difficulty problem solving question from ratio proportion. It's a word problem. As with any word problem, the gist of solving any word problem is converting the information given in words and sentences to mathematical expression. In this case, it's rewriting this into a meaningful ratio. The moment you have expressed it in terms of a ratio, then solving the ratio is actually very simple. Let's get started. Three friends, Alice, Bond and Charlie, divide $1105 among them in such a way that if $10, $20 and $15 are removed from the sums that Alice, Bond and Charlie received respectively, they saying take $10 away from what Alice got, take $20 away from what Bond got and take $15 away from what Charlie got, then the share of the sums that they got will be in the ratio 11 is to 18 is to 24. After removing these sums, if you check out how much money they have, that is going to be in the ratio of 11 is to 18 is to 24. What we need to compute is, how much did Charlie receive? We're going to start by assigning three variables. We're going to assign variables for the sums of money that Alice, Bond and Charlie got. Let's say those are A dollars, B dollars and C dollars respectively. Sum of money got by all three of them equals $1105. So A plus B plus C equals $1105 is our first equation. Let's go to this part. We're going to remove $10 from what Alice has got. Alice has got A dollars. If we remove $10 from it, what Alice will be left with is A minus $10. Run through the same exercise for Bond and Charlie. Remove 20 from Bond, remove 15 from Charlie. Bond will be left with B minus 20 and Charlie will be left with C minus 15. Now the same, after removing this 10, 20 and 15, if you look at the ratio of what they will have, which is essentially the ratio of A minus 10 is to B minus 20 is to C minus 15. That ratio is 11 is to 18 is to 24. So A minus 10 is to B minus 20 is to C minus 15. We have removed these sums and then checked out the ratio of what is remaining. That ratio works out to this. So we got this. This ends the crux of converting that word, the word problem into a ratio. Solving this ratio is very simple. All that we need to do is basically say if A minus 10 is to B minus 20 is to C minus 15 equals 11 is to 18 is to 24. A minus 10 is 11k. B minus 20 is an 18k. And C minus 15 is a 24k. We are assigning a factor k. The next step is finding out what this k is. Let's add the information on the left hand side. So a minus 10 plus b minus 20 plus c minus 15. This is equal to on the right hand side a minus 10 we know is 11k that's what you have said once you have put this factor k plus 18k plus 24k. Let's rewrite these terms a plus b plus c minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 minus 15 is a minus 45 this equals on the right hand side 29 plus 24 is a 24k this is equal to a 53k recall this our first equation was the sums of the sum of money that they've got is equal to 1105 which means a plus b plus c equals 1105 that's equation number one for us go back to the previous slide rewind a bit to get that right so i'm going to replace this a plus b plus c from equation one as 1105 dollars so this is going to be equal to 1105 dollars minus 45 is equal to 53k one equation, one variable, we'll be able to solve it. So 53k is equal to 1105 minus 45, which is 1060. So k is equal to 1060 divided by 53, which is equal to 20. Form the value of this factor k, which is equal to 20. What do we have to compute? We need to find out how much did Charlie receive. How much did Charlie receive? Charlie received c dollars. What do we have here in this ratio? We have the c minus 15 is equal to a 24k. We got the value of k as 20. So c minus 15 is equal to 24 times 20, which is equal to 480. c minus 15 is a 480. What will c be? Take the $15 to the right hand side. That's going to be equal to $495. Answer choice A is the correct answer. Quickly summarize this last bit of calculation in a printed form so that it all flows in order. Right. Basically, a minus 10 plus b minus 20 plus c minus 15, assigning the factor k, adding up on the right hand side is going to leave us with this. So a plus b plus c, clubbing the constants together is a minus 45 adding up the right hand side is a 53k solve for k we'll get k is equal to 20 by replacing a plus b plus c is equal to 1105 you know the value of k equals 20 we need to find the value of c you know c minus 15 is equal to 24k substitute k as a 20 we we'll get the value of c to be equal to 495 c charlie received 495 dollars choice a is the correct answer before you leave two things sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core it's one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages. Build momentum to your GMAT preparation. Subsequently, pay up and unlock the remaining topics. Lastly, 
subscribe to the channel youtube.com/bizaco and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for gmat you may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member only perks that come with it and will help you boost your gmat preparation